the White House has announced that President Biden has made the decision after listening to his advisor on how he wants the U.S. to respond to the drone attack that killed uh, three uh, U.S. service members in uh, Jordan, right on the border of Syria, injured over 30. And and just to underscore those injuries, uh, about nine or so have been reported that they they weren't able to get uh, enough treatment even inside Jordan. They had to be taken to uh, other military, uh, other hospitals. So that's how serious their injuries uh, were. And uh, sometimes we focus just on the, the deaths. We don't focus on how many people were seriously injured. 30 plus people were. Not only do we have servicemen in certain areas of the world, and maybe we don't even think so, but you have, like you said, almost these very young uh, group of, of service people placed in very dangerous situations. Uh, as we head into this kind of a looming threat, as you said, President Biden said he has decided what his action will be. We don't know that yet, and we likely won't know that until after that action has right. occurred or during. If it's any kind of attack that uses uh, military assets or drones. is some kind of drone or is a cyber attack, uh, that you don't, you're going to find out about after the yeah, fact. You're not given a warning. Uh, right. If it is something more economic that he's going to announce, that would be something he announces. There is a big, huge difference between a threat of military action and a credible threat of military action. We call it a credible threat because it's important to have something that's credible. Uh, When you look at Joe Biden yesterday, who at the White House was asked, um, you know, did Iran do this? Are they responsible? And he had like a hemming and hawing and technical answer. He was not clear. He hedged. And not only did Americans see that, but the radical Islamic regime in Tehran saw that. And I, I think it was pretty clear that that they think that Joe Biden doesn't necessarily say that they're responsible, only that they gave money to these proxies and that the proxies are responsible. He didn't nail them by saying, of course, Iran is responsible. You combine that with uh, really playing this out publicly as to the angst that the administration has over how much of a response to do. And it it all comes together to say, this is not a very credible response. This is not a credible threat of military action. This is at a time when Iran has said they have executed, this is uh, Logan, four convicted of plotting with Israeli intelligence, that would be Mossad, to attack a uh, military defense factory. That's where a lot of these missiles, rockets, and drones that were used against our own troops The uh, is, uh, that Hamas has, that Hezbollah also has, are manufactured. So I, I wouldn't be necessarily surprised that some of these countries would like to destroy those. But what's weird is that there's reporting on this from a month ago in Al Jazeera and just the last day or two in the U.S., and some of the names being released are very similar. Yeah. So you wonder, and a lot of time in Iran, these are public executions by hanging. They make a point. We're not seeing any of that imagery yet. Whatever's coming out of Iran, you kind of have to do some deep diving. And a lot of times you're not going to have a very clear picture. That being said, even the fact they're claiming this should uh, alarm a lot of people on how they feel about Israel. Yeah. And how they feel about the U.S. by proxy in that sense.